Hey everyone, it's Julianne here, back with another card making video as part of the Butterfly Reflections design team. Today I'm going to be sharing a card that uses a bunch of Waffle Flower craft products, the Sweet Mailbox Stamp and Die, Sending Love Stamp and Die, as well as the Layering Wood Grain Stamp Set. So let's just jump right in and get started. Before I get started, I wanted to show you a closer look at these stamps and dies. I love this cute mouse in the Sending Love stamp set, as well as all the great sentiments you get in the Sweet Sentiment set. There are a ton of possibilities with this stamp set. You could do many thanks, congratulations, sending prayers. The mailbox die comes with 10 dies that include the mailbox, three envelopes, two of which you get the front and back, and some dies that add some extra detail to your mailbox, as well as an ink blot die and a little heart. Since my card is mostly all die cuts, I did want to save some time by doing all the die cutting off camera. I used a variety of different My Favorite Things color card stock to do all of my die cutting. Here I'm going to be doing the paper piecing part of the card by adhering all the envelope dies, the little stamps, and the lines where you would write your address using liquid adhesive. To start, I just separated all of my components by color and just started adhering them. I really wanted to focus if I was working on a blue envelope like I am now, that maybe I use the lines from the pink envelope or the purple or maybe the stamps from the white envelope just so I could get all the colors mixed together. This was definitely the most time consuming part out of this card. So I'm just going to kind of speed up this process and continue to do this step until I have everything adhered. Once I have everything adhered together, you can really see all these fun, cute details that the envelopes have. I love that these envelope dies, whether it's the longer envelope or the short, you get the front and the back. I think it's a really fun detail. This die set also features an ink seal die that I thought would be super cute to add to the back of two of my envelopes using some red cardstock. Next, I'm going to start working on putting my mailbox together. With one pass through your die cutting machine, you get a lot of great detail on the mailbox already, but for my card today, I wanted to use those extra dies to get some more detail on my mailbox door. Once I'm done with all my die cuts, I'm going to start working on my background. I knew I wanted my mailbox to be jam packed full of envelopes, so I wanted to create a sublime card to make sure I had enough room for all those details. So I'm going to be cutting my background down to 4 by 8 and a half, and then my card base I cut to 8 by 8 and a half and scored at 4. For my card today, I really wanted to create a cloud background to make it look as though my mailbox was outside. So to accomplish this, I'm going to be doing some ink blending with my Distress Oxides. 
I'm going to be using both tumbled glass and salty ocean onto some ranger watercolor paper. For the clouds, I'm just going to be going back and forth between the tumbled glass and the salty ocean while using the mini cloud edges stencil from My Favorite Things. Once I'm done with all my cloud ink blending, I'm just going to go back in with that tumbled glass and just add some blending on each of the sides. That way I'm not left with any stark white edges. Once I was done with my background, I started arranging my elements on how I wanted my card to look and realized that my mailbox was kind of just floating in my background and that I needed to add some kind of post. Using some of that leftover Ranger watercolor paper from my background, I'm going to be stamping the layering wood grain stamp using some embossing ink and then I'm just going to be clear heat embossing the image. This is going to add some really great subtle detail to my wood post. Now that I'm finally done with all my heat embossing, I'm just going to use my paper trimmer to cut that embossed area into little strips. Next I'm going to start working on stamping my sentiment. I'm going to be using sentiments from both stamp sets, the Sending Love stamp set as well as the Sweet Sentiment stamp set. My sentiment is going to read, my friend, just a note to say hello. The my friend, just a note to say will be on the outside of my mailbox. And then once my recipient opens the card, the hello sentiment will be on the inside. For both of my sentiments, I'm going to be stamping them both twice with some Versifying Onyx Black ink. I really love this ink when it comes to stamping and I love how I get a bold, crisp outline. Now that I've stamped all of my sentiments, I'm now going to start adhering my card together. I'm going to start by adhering my background to my card base using some Nouveau liquid adhesive. And then I'm going to move on to working on my mailbox post. 
as well as my nail box. Now that I have all of those pieces adhered to my background, I'm going to start working on stuffing my mailbox full of goodies. Off camera, I did stamp the mouse as well as four of the stamped images from the Sending Love stamp set, and I also did my Copic coloring off camera. Now I'm just going to be adhering four of those stamped images onto my envelopes using that same Nouveau adhesive. And when placing these envelopes into my mailbox, I'm going to make sure that I don't cover any of the colored images that I work so hard on. Now that my mailbox is jam-packed full of goodies, probably more than any mailbox can possibly hold, I'm going to start working on adhering my cute little mouse as well as some of the hearts that I die cut earlier. Since my mailbox is pretty packed full of these envelopes that I die cut, there is a lot of added dimension in that, so when adhering my mouse, I'm only going to have to use thin foam adhesive and I'm just going to be using that foam adhesive on her ears and down at her feet. The rest of the image I'm just going to be using that same liquid adhesive. I also really wanted to make sure that once I had her adhered that once the mailbox door was closed that she was going to be hidden. I think this is going to be a really cute surprise for the recipient when she receives this letter. And now I'm also going to start working on adding in the little flag that initializes that this mailbox is full of goodies as well as those hearts that I talked about earlier. I 
I did have a few of those small envelope dies left over from my card, so I'm just going to adhere those on the inside in that right bottom corner. And that's my card. I want to thank you all for stopping by, and I hope you were able to find some crafty inspiration. And as always, happy crafting and have a great day.